Why, hello there, soulmates. My name's Soul Keeper, and welcome back to Silent Hill 2. When we left off last time, we just got out of the apartments, and now we're, well, well on our way to meet a special someone. Let's not keep James any longer than we already have, because we've got a very, very important date. Yes, we do. But first, we should probably pick up a little bit of ammo, because we did spend quite a bit on, you know, pyramid head. You! It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here, anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? Oof. That was not the important date, but you know, it's, it's still an important meeting. Him and Laura, God. Laura is interesting, guys. I don't know if you know this well. I don't think I want to spoil it for you. I'll keep my mouth shut about the whole thing, but you'll probably you'll pick up on things as we go. There's some bullets up there. We're going to take those because we need all the ammo we can get, really. Honestly, this isn't going to be that bad, I don't think, because we do pick up quite a bit of ammo in Silent Hill 2. This is the park. God, it's so misty. Mary, are you here? Ah, this guy is just full of all kinds of wishful thinking, isn't he? Caution, slippery when wet or frosty. You know, I've never paid attention to that sign before. I, I kind of have all kinds of ideas for videos and stuff ever since I started playing Silent Hill 2 again. And I've played it just, God, so much recently. This is, oh, I've lost track of how much I've played it. There's a little bit more ammo right there. We'll take that, and then we'll take a little something special over here. Look at that. We got some chalky milk, guys. James loves his chalky milk. It's time. Date night. Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. Just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? A little bit. Being honest. See? Feel how warm I am? You're really not Mary. I told you. I'm Maria. Sorry. I was confused. Where are you going? I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Oh yeah, three years ago. But I got a letter from her. She says she was waiting in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? Take us to the hotel? I bet she is. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. I look like...
you hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. Dude. She looks like such a product of the time. I don't know if anyone notices it, but... Like, there's pictures all over the internet of Maria being based off of Christina Aguilera from 1999. And the outfit that Christina wore was exactly like what we see here. It's a little silly. But also, it looks very much like one of those movies that you see from the early 2000s, late 90s, right? Well, I mean, it makes sense. That was the style, right? So, of course, Maria has that going on. A lot of people have been, like, complaining up and down about Maria's look in the remake. And honestly, I think that she looks fine. It's a different look, but it's not a bad look. So, uh, yeah, Maria here, she's precious cargo, but she's not super precious. We don't have to worry about her that much. No, not that much. Um, I, I want to check on something here because... Here, we should, we should check the map. Uh, I gotta get to the... Jackson, we're, we're kind of already here. I didn't realize that the inn was as close as it is. Um, I want to take a look over somewhere in here. Okay, I don't think on this save I'm gonna get it. I was kind of hoping there'd be a doghouse here. And it should be located, like, right in here. But, obviously, we're on a different save file. So, I guess we're not getting it, guys. Wah, wah. <laughs> if, I, if I did have it, I was going to, like, go for a whole UFO ending and just have some lulls. Or not a UFO ending, but a dog ending. My bad. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, we don't have to worry too much about her. She's good. We will go over here, though, and we will grab a couple of things. Here in the car, there's going to be a nice pipe. Let's take that, guys. Yeah, give me... Sometimes you got to lay some pipe, you know what I'm saying? There's also a book in here, but I don't know if we really want that. We should probably... I don't know. Do we want to... Do I want to get rebirth ending? I don't think I want to get rebirth ending. I already got rebirth ending recently. It was okay. But I don't know if I want to do it again. Hell, it's already part of a video I've got coming out, so maybe we'll just go for, like... I don't know. We'll go for, like, water ending? Yeah. Mm. Anyway, just... I don't know. I'm just thinking aloud, guys. Mostly it's just a whole bunch of fog and stuff. We don't have to worry too much. Ah! Hey, we're already at our destination. Well done, James. It's time to go bowling. I'll wait here. I hate bowling. Who hates bowling? I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back. Okay? Yes, my lady. We'll get right on that. Hey. She's your wife's doppelganger, bro. You got a second chance at love. Think about that, James. Ah. Second chances don't come too often. I'll tell you. So what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Ha! Huh, you're just a gutless fatso. What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were after you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? I guess I run away a lot, too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Yeah, they probably won't forgive you there. I mean, it doesn't quite work that easy. Knowing what Eddie did? Come on, man. Forgiveness. For? Yeah. Sure. The guy, the guy he attacked will jump right on that, baby. Ooh, wait. Ah, oh, I was hoping that maybe I could examine that soda machine and get James something to drink. Wishful thinking. Man, where'd you get that pizza? He's got two pizzas there. I want pizza. Actually, I had pizza today. Eddie? I don't need. I don't need more. Oh, um, you're James. We met in the apartment building. Yeah, I remember, but. Uh...
Are you alone here, Eddie? Um, no. Oh, that was just Laura. That's right. Bye bye. Wait, what? come back, Eddie. Let's go after her. Huh? Laura? But why? Laura? Is that her name? That's what she said. This town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? She said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. Where the hell is Laura going in such a hurry? Ah, she's eight years old, man. What do you want from her? Oh, dude, we could like run up and down the alley. Oh, dude, that's so good. Wait, wait, wait. Is there like shit over here? Wait, I think he's like looking at something, bro. What's he looking at? Oh, we got bullets! I didn't realize there was bullets here. Hell yes. Oh, dude, I wish I could bowl. I never knew there was bullets over there. I'm I'm kind of shocked right now. This rules. Who is that girl, anyhow? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. Hey, Eddie's harmless enough, sort of. Well, right now he is. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just... I would really like it if James threw a ball here. Oh, come on, don't be lame, James. Oh, all right, he's not gonna throw nothing. That's heartbreaking. I was so hungry for him to bowl. Ah, uh, Silent Hill. Tis a silly game at times. Well, not right now. Silent Hill 2 is a pretty serious game, most of the time. I guess there's nothing to do but go out here and get back to Maria. She hates bowling. There's no pins anyway, Maria. You would have liked it here. Did a little girl run out of here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you gonna go after her? the hell was she too fast for you? You were a grown-ass woman. You couldn't catch a little girl? Damn. Ugh. Just leave it up to me and my... <laughs> am I gonna go after her? I know why she's running away, probably because I'm holding a pistol in my hand. I am practicing gun safety. <laughs> huh. Oh, buddy. down the alley. She went through there. Oh, James. Wait, she went through there? Holy shit. Is How'd there she... any other way? How'd yeah, she fit? Right through there. Yeah, how'd she fit, dude? That's like tiny even for an eight-year-old. Dude, she would get stuck. Oh, that would be so terrifying. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Bruh. Maria. Maria, you should have pulled her away. It would be the responsible thing. It's no good. It's locked. Ah, uh, damn, girl. Hmm. Oh, she's got it. Ooh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're trying to sneak a peek there, huh, James? Very subtle. He is not even trying to hide it, and she is not either. Look at that, he's just sneaking a peek at her on his way in. Like, let's look in the cookie jar. Mmm, I see those cookies. Oh yeah, mmm. Got every flavor there, I see. Mmm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just taking a look at the map here and seeing, like, what's going on. There's a... I don't know. I kind of wonder if we could go to Bar Neely's at some point. Stacked up cardboard boxes. It doesn't look like there's anything useful here. I'm kind of curious if we can, like... Go to Bar Neely's on the way through here, but I don't think that we can. Oh wait, there's a bar right in here. I guess that, that settles that. 
Well, I thought that would settle that. Maybe it doesn't. Well, if nothing else, we get a we get a med pack out of this, and I will take a med pack. I enjoy I enjoy the view too, James. But I heard a rumor that you could get Maria to like do a tease up here. Just a regular stage. There's nothing strange about it. But she doesn't really. I I don't think I can get her to do that. It would be fun though. I don't know, I'm kind of curious if there's like any more Walter Sullivan articles and stuff in here, because that'd be really fun. Uh, I, I've encountered a couple of Walter Sullivan things, or a handful of Walter Sullivan things, and I wonder just how many there are throughout the game. Oh my gosh. Fuck. Yeah, Maria has a habit of teleporting, man, and it's just, it's the best. <laughs> Not terrifying at all, dude. No, we have to we have to run this way. Just do a quick once over here to see if there's any supplies. Nah, there's nothing. That is deeply, deeply unfortunate. It's okay. We'll find we'll find enough. Do the hospital, Maria. You know, the cheeriest of places. Poor James, you think he's had enough of hospitals, but hell you'd be wrong. You know, we go in a hospital in Silent Hill 1, but I feel like the hospital in that is nowhere near as topical as what we have here. If you know, you know. And boy, do I know. God. How many times have I played this game? I have no idea, bro. But there's a map here. Well, we will need that. Come on, Maria. You're gonna get your opportunity to scare the crap out of me a little bit more before we're done with this. I love the way you teleport. It's the best. It's so, so nice. Alright. See, like, like that right there. See, see the way she does that? Just hide. Look, where are these tight quarters? And she just happens to be there. Alright, I've eye shot. Then boom. Camera change. And then boom. Brown pants. Something is written on it. The potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind, but to him there is simply no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. I got the purple bull key. Alright. It's one of many keys we're gonna need during this. Ah, oh, Silent Hill. Does it Oh there there you are, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Okay. Yep, yeah, she was in one part of the room, now she's in another. They knew exactly what the hell they were doing here, didn't they? <laughs> Oh God, you make me want to cry, Maria. Just a, just a little bit. Sweet baby Jeebus. All right, let's uh, let's save right here, I guess. Yeah, we'll save like right there. Okay, dude, I've got like so many of these saves here. I've got too many of these saves. What am I, what am I gonna do with all this, bro? Wait, 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 wait. Did I just? Oh, 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 oh. We got, here, we got a note here. Jack Davis. He has attempted suicide three times in the past for reasons unknown. Although he is normally a model patient who follows doctors and nurses' orders, he must be watched closely due to his pattern of sudden and violent suicide attempts. Joseph Barkin. His illness seems to be rooted in the fact that he believes he is guilty of causing his daughter's death. His symptoms suggest a, par a psychotic break and paranoid delusions. Normally calm, but has a tendency toward violence when excited. Joshua Lewis. 
history of hospitalization as well as numerous assault, battery, and other violent offenses. He has a strong persecution complex and a tendency to solve things through violence. Extreme caution necessary. Cool. Well, this is gonna be fun. Uh, let me check my saves. Okay, this is like the save I have right here. Okay, we're at like 59 minutes. Okay, that's fine. I was just reading things wrong. Um, yeah, this is gonna be simple. Yeah, if I remember right, this is gonna be nice and easy, Maria. Just follow me and we will be up, up, up I said up the staircase. That's not where the staircase is. Don't, don't go, don't go out of breath uh, on me already, Maria. We got places to go. Oh, man. So, obviously, this is the part where we meet the nurses and the nurses are very, very cheerful. Hmm. An absolute delight, you might say. Yeah. What with? All right, and fortunately, we don't have to linger around here. I, you know, I'm not too sure if, like, she takes damage or not when they hit her. Or if, actually, I think she probably does. And she can't, like, take any damage. So she's kind of precious cargo. Um, I, yeah, 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 we gotta keep her safe. Sometimes she'll stand in the way of the gunfire, which is not the best. There's a typewriter here. I've got no use for this. Wait a minute, what's this? There's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. I can still read the imprint left on it. I know it. I know the number of the box. 3932. Oh, wait. Why do I feel like I've... Why do I feel like I've been on this playthrough before? I don't know. I can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am is who I am is who I am is. Who gave this dude a typewriter? Oh god, why does it look like this bulb? Who's pissing on the sheets, bro? This is this place looks like it's got poop and pee everywhere. <laughs> god, this place is foul. Alright, which of these doors open up? Yeah, that one does. Watch ourselves here. Uh we don't have to plug anything. Oh, how nice of you to stand right across the room there, Maria. It's a good thing I didn't fire because whoo. Boy, that wouldn't have worked out. She would. They they knew what they were doing when they made that. God, what's up with all these beds, bro? Oh, there's the nurse. What we call a fun character. Hey, let's scope out this room first, man. Hey. Dude, does this, doesn't Maria kind of look like a mannequin right there? Okay, there, she's moving finally. She looks a little nervous, yeah. Why don't the, why, where's her six shooter? Dude, um, um, born from a wish, she has a revolver that she uses, and it's, it's not a bad gun, too. She's pretty handy with it. I guess she just kind of goes straight up damsel in distress in this. Well, I guess that's what James wants, huh? I guess so, yeah. It's his fantasy. Mm-hmm, hmm, hmm. 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 Indeed. God, I felt a little nervous that she'd be across the room when I was firing, but no, we're okay. All right, there's the there's another health drink, another chalky milk, and some more shotty shells. Cool. We haven't even picked up shotgun yet, man. She's pretty casual. Look at look at her. She's so casual about this. Like she's well, she's seen this before, right? Yeah. Well, okay. That that tra that tracks. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Okay, we're we're done on this floor, I think. Yeah, we are. Uh, let's go to the third floor. If I remember right. Oh wait, 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 we kinda have to go back out here. Uh, I hope we're gonna be okay, dudes. Alright, uh, are we gonna be okay? Yeah, I gotta go back out here. Um, okay, we're okay. We're fine, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Come on, come on, James, stop, stop eating it, buddy. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're just gonna run for it. 
Where's she gonna run for? We're gonna we're gonna go in here. Is Maria okay? Yeah, Maria's okay. I she, it sounded like Maria got hit. Maybe she's not gonna be that bad off. Uh, there's a key in there, but as I recall, I'm pretty sure that the code that we need for the door is static. I don't think it changes on normal difficulty, and we're on normal puzzle difficulty. But we do have to get this. Let's take that. Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. Totally normal thing to have in a teddy bear. I got the bent needle. Oh, and by the way, there's a shotgun right next door. Yeah. Why the hell was just a just a normal just a normal stuffed animal. Nothing else. Yeah, a normal stuffed animal with a with a damn hook in it. It makes perfect sense. Uh I think. Okay, she's behind the building. Whew. Just get these damn nurses out of the way, brother. Okay, that's fine. We just we just need to get them out of the way. We want to take them all down. Otherwise, we're gonna be here all day with these nurses because they just they kind of just keep on coming. I mean, not really, but kind of, sort of. I wish that I could offer a more satisfactory answer than that. Um, let's let's see if we can open this door over here up. Yes, we can. I think. Uh, we'll try... I think that was a 7. Yeah, it was. Okay, I got it. Code is 7335. It's static. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. So the key in that coat that I could have got was just going to take me to a door downstairs, and I can skip it. Hallelujah. Alright, I think it's like number 3 right here where we lose Maria finally. And we don't have to worry about her anymore for a little while. Phew. Yep, here it is. Nice and easy, guys. James. <coughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> I'm kind of tired. Oh, that's promising. It's just a hangover. Hmm. You should rest. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so comfy. Hmm. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. Mm-hmm. I got the roof key. Yeah, you did, buddy. Oh boy. The cycle continues, baby. God, this music is kind of. This music is really intense, dude. This music is a lot, bro. Alright, one of these doors is gonna have some stuff in it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one of them, damn it. I can't remember which it is. I tried most of these, haven't I? I'm pretty sure I did. I didn't try four. I don't think four is the one, though. I think the one at the very end is going to have, like, the lock that I'm looking for, but there it is. Yeah, oh yeah, look at the big brain on me. God, these narrow-ass rooms, though. God, there's a lot. We don't need to save. We just got here, bro. What the hell am I afraid of? I ain't afraid of squat, brother. Alright, let's let's just get rid of the keys that we have here because we're already here, man. There's something written on the wall. Louise, I'll take care of you forever. It's my destiny. See the number four there? Yeah, it's very, 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 very on the nose, because you know, look one, two, three, four. I see what they did there. Yeah. It's clever. Um yeah, this lapis key, this lapis eye key, takes off the padlock. Eh, I think that 39, 32 takes off that. Okay. That's that's two down. And let's, let's use this one right here. God, this is a lot of security, actually. Holy crap. Like, they've... 
whoever made this very obviously did not some want anyone getting into this box. And they did a pretty good job of doing it too, because yikes. Well, we did a pretty good job clearing this whole place out, didn't we? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. Got not gonna lie, man. Uh, before we do anything else, let's take a look at... Oh, God, look at that. Why is it all green? What the... What the hell is that? Why is it all, like, neon green, brother? Freaking me out. Someone bust open a glow stick and pour it out? There's something stuck in the drainage pipe. The hole is too small. I can't get my hand inside to reach it. Or is it, like... Maybe if I had a long, narrow tool of some kind. Oh, you know what it probably is? Maybe it's like just oxidization. Maybe it's the copper? Because I think it's a copper ring in there. Oh, but you should, but, well, that, I don't know about that. Like, copper is not quite so neon, so what the hell? It's like, it's like the, it's like a friggin' xenomorph got busted open or something. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, here we are. We got our roof key. Let's go use it, guys. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, here we are. A very pivotal and important place. I'm going to use one of these, because... I feel, feel a little green around the gills, my friends. Oh, let's take a good look at Mary. Just, you know... To keep things gassed up. Also, let's read that note. Because we got, again, we gotta just look at it every so often. Yeah, look at the knife, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Living dangerously is what this is, brother. Hell yeah. And let's reload this. How many bolts do we have? We got well over 100. Good. So we don't have to worry about nothing, dude. Place is pretty mild mannered. There's something on the floor. Is this a diary? May 9. Rain. Stared out the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10. Still raining. Talked with a doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic. Weak. Not everyone can be strong. May 11. Rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? May 12th. Rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's just too... It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th. Clear outside. The doctors told me I'd been released. I've got to go home. Hi. The diary ends here. There are no more entries. What was a diary doing up here? Good question, James. Hmm. Pretty quiet around here. Pretty quiet. And it's less quiet. And we're fucked! Mm. <laughs> you never saw it coming. <laughs> what a troll. Let me help you on your way, James. He could have just held up a sign. Everything's gotta be everything's gotta be like a damn riddle. Anyway, because he smacked the shit out of me, I gotta use one of these. Force damage. Yep. One of those things about Silent Hill 2. Gotta love it. Alright, let's see what the numbers are on here. There's something written on the wall. 2682. Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Better not forget them, so I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. 2682. 2682. Remember that, guys. Remember that. 2682. Two six eight two. Okay. Whew. Let's move. Let's not. Let's not dilly dally. We're good. Whew. Oh 
Okay. Alright, this is nice. Yeah, this is really good. Easy peasy, huh? We got the last lock on this. Let's go ahead and do it. It is, like he said, two. Here, this way. Six. Eight. And two. It did say two, six, eight, two, right? Or was it like... Oh, it's seven, six, eight, two. Seven, six, that was a seven? In what world was that a seven? God, this guy spent all that time writing in blood and never learned how to write to begin with. Should have done that before he got the blood out, son. There's nothing inside the box. No, I'm wrong. There's a few hairs inside. Oh, cool. Yay. That was worth it. I got a piece of hair. I bet James feels like he's really on top of things right now, doesn't he? I bet he feels like he's... This is life well spent. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Brother. God, James, I, I hope I hope you feel good about yourself here. Let's just get ourselves in position. I think this is about right. I don't know. Sometimes the combined stuff can be a little finicky in Silent Hill 2. Well, it works, it's working now, so we're all good. Wait, is there a ring in here, or is it... What the hell am I getting... No, it's not a ring. What the hell am I thinking? Uh, that's probably a key, isn't it? Oh, that looks like a key. Okay, that's not correct. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. It's an elevator key. Well, what the hell are they putting an elevator key down the drain for? Who the hell is doing that? Is this like a hospital or is it a fucking nut house? Wait, it's a mental hospital, isn't it? Based on those numbers. I, I can't tell anymore. Nothing makes sense anymore, brother. Alright, whatever. Let's just take the elevator down, because, you know, we gots to. Alright, soulmates, what do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be like two, or is it going to be one? I don't know. I, I, I can't remember nothing about nothing. Actually, we've already been we've already been to two. What am I doing? Yeah, we've already been in two. Yeah, see, look, look at this. Yeah, there's nothing here. We're going to one. What am I thinking? Ah, oh, dude, I'm 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 uh. That's what I think right now. I know what I'm doing now. That's right. We better get Boomstick out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. We we don't have tons of shotgun ammo right now, but we we might have enough. If I don't, I guess I'll start using, like, a gun. I don't know, it depends just how much I'm gonna need for this fight, man. Oh, those are good fucking noises. Oh yeah, I love it. I love the- I love that. Holy crap. Oh, that loud breathing? That's the best. More, please! No, I- can't get enough of it, dude. Oh, oh wait. Looks like we looks like we're getting uh, handgun bullets and how many how many shotgun shells do we have actually? We've got oh I've got like twenty four of them. Okay, yeah that'll do. I think that's enough. That'll be okay, baby. Hmm. All right, let's uh go find Laura. Hi, Laura. Why is she at the hospital, brother? What is she doing here? Playing with the toys, sticking needles in them and stuff? Kid, be careful with those toys. They got sharp stuff in them. Those are the ones they hand out on Halloween. What she doing? Pull them apart? Laura? Huh? You know my name? Eddie Incredibly, yeah. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. I was friends with Mary. We met at the hospital. It was last year. 
You liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. But last year, Mary was already... I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. Oh, I'm sure she wants to go with you, bro. We can talk about this later. That's pretty this aggressive. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Later, okay? But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I want to go get it. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Come on, hurry up. Is it in there? In the back. What a sucker. Tricked by a kid. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. Yeah, what are you doing, Laura? Laura! What are you doing? Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat! Open up! <laughs> All right, we gotta get a little bit of creative the way we handle this, baby. Um, yeah, this is this is kind of a tough one to pull off because these guys, yeah, these guys are real weird. Yeah, that's good. Okay, how about how about we move there, James? James is a little slow reacting, man. Just a little bit slow. Did that even hit anything? I don't think it did, brother. Oh man. Oh man. This is... Alright, I'm, I'm not sure how many shells we spent there. Maybe like five? I was thinking five. Yeah, that's five. Alright, uh, let's go back over here, man. Come on, come on, come on, James. You gotta shoot him. Come on, brother. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go, bro. It's a good show. We gotta move. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. We gotta move. Whoa, dude. They're like, really? Okay, we gotta move. They're really trying to grab me with their feet. They really want it. I, I don't, don't touch me with your nasty feet, bro. I mean, the internet's all about that business, but this is not a time for that kind of action because you guys look a little unwashed, if I'm being totally honest. You guys are nasty as hell. God, is this is this what their bed like look like? Cause it looks awful. Or him and Mary, like their beds, surely looked better than that, didn't it? Oh God, I hope so. Dude, I'm missing all kinds of shots. Are you like even aiming, James? Kill me here, bro. Dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Look, look. They're, they're trying. They're really trying to get me, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's one. All right, we got the one. How about we? How about we hurry, James? How about we hurry, Bob? Okay. There we go. Okay, we got we got another one. How many more shots we got? We got. Wow, we got seven shots. You think that's gonna be enough? I'm not sure about this, man. Okay, there's like one last one here. Off. We'll be okay. 
Boom, and boom. That's four hits with a shotty. Come on, you're gonna go down eventually, buddy. That's six. Okay, we got it, we got it, yes. Yes! The siren. You know, the omen of good things that happen to Silent Hill. up the blue gym oh you know what what the oh you know what we're already here let's go ahead and use it let's see some ufo action baby come on <laughs> oh my god so bad look oh that was worth it I don't know, whenever I pick up the channeling stone, or not the channeling stone, the blue gem. It's called the channeling stone, the original Silent Hill. I can't help myself. Just gotta see myself some UFO action, buddy. Mmm. <laughs> it's the best. It's just like these shitty JPEGs that they have. These, these terrible photoshops that they have just going across the screen. And it looks so awful. <laughs> God. Oh man, they really have a sense of humor about this game. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, but they really do. Oh man. Alright. Let's stay safe, guys. Or at least, you know, try to stay safe. I don't know. Uh, we might, we might want to get shotgun out for what we gotta do next. I know. Yeah. Just in case. There's gonna be like some ammo up here, I think. One of these doors. Yeah, I like this one. Okay, let's uh okay. It's boomstick time. Yeah. The way they roar kinda of Jesus fucking Christ! The glass though. What why is the glass smashing, brother? Any more glass smashing? Only the one, huh? Thank you. God damn it. Oh, my poor, poor heart. I'm okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good conversation we just had. Unfortunately, I think it's over for right now. Yeah, we ain't going out there, and we ain't going out there. We ain't going anywhere in here, buddy boy. No, sir. What, what floor are we on, anyway? Are we on floor one? Yeah, we're on floor one. Okay. Uh, jeez. Get the hell out of here. There's just no place else to go but up. And I don't think there's a third floor on here, is there? Is there? No, wait, I think there is. Dang. I can't remember. <laughs> I think as many times as I played Silent Hill 2 I can remember, but I don't know. There's a lot of locations. There's a lot of different rooms in Silent Hill. It's hard to remember them all. Thank you. I think we're done here. What do they got for me in here, brother? Hey, nothing bad. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They got the dry cell battery and the basement storeroom key. That is important. We need those. I'm glad I decided to come this way. Here we go. Alright. There's the end of my boomstick. How much more boomstick do I got, by the way? I've got three boomstick. Okay. Good thing we're going to get more. Alright, now I got two boomstick. I don't know about this, guys. 
is looking a little dicey on my end. Alright, I think I think I might be able to kill myself. Do this one and that's two. Alright, cool. Okay, oh buddy, yeah, she kinda of just got right back up, didn't she? Yeah, she did. That's cool. Let's, let's run this way. Cool. Alright, we got it. Oh man. They were just they, they 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 rose up like the dead could not keep them down. Oh shotgun shells, thank god, how many did I get? Being dead was a minor inconvenience to them. Hallelujah. Six shells. Oh. You know these monsters do Pilates, brother. Cause they just get right the hell back up every single time. Die? No, I don't think I will. Alright, this door over here, we're gonna go in there later with Maria. But she's got the upper body strength that James does not. Much to her chagrin. Or his chagrin, rather. They're both of their chagrins? I don't know. Let's just mix and match their chagrins until they got the right amount. Bruh. Bruh. As nerve-wracked as I get playing Silent Hill 2, no game compares to Silent Hill 3. Not really. Silent Hill 3 is just a... Silent Hill 3 is just a lot. Oh, it you don't look down, brother. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, here comes another one. Well, that one went down, thank God. All right. Whew. Oh, damn. Oh, they got stuff in here for me. Handgun bullets and ampule, thank God. How many shells do I have left? I got two. Two. Might want to start using gun, actually. We got so many bullets here that we can afford to spend them. I think it's going to be worth our while to get rid of these nurses, because Maria's going to be joining us, man. I think most of these rooms are just locked. Yeah, they sure are. I don't know why I keep trying to enter, enter into them. I think this one's Maria's room, though. There it is. There are empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now, too? Hear that breathing? That pyramid head? He's watching, bro. Jesus Christ. That breathing is so good. Thank you, Silent Hill. I love it. More of it. Please, please do more of that. Oh, God, right in my ear, man. When you're wearing headphones, that, that stuff really hits, brother. <laughs> like... It's hard to emphasize just how unnerving it is when it's just pumping right into your ears through your headphones. Deeply, deeply frightening. Okay, we're just gonna... I don't, I don't need to really save until I get back up here, but I'll save now, just because, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes I can't help myself. Why are you saving, Soul Keeper? Because... Because I'm a scared. Thank you. Right on cue. Damn ambient noises. Alright, what do we got in here? Shotgun shells! Oh, good. Good, good. We could always use more of those. There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move the shelf? Yes, please. One hand. Oh, man, you're stronger than you look, James. James! Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. Mm. 
I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but... She ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. A lot of mixed feelings right now, brother. I got the copper ring. Um, yeah, Maria's a little possessive. You're supposed to take care of me. Oh, she's very clingy, and we just met. Like, you look like Mary, but you're not Mary. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck you, Silent Hill. <laughs> I hate everything right now, man. Alright, let's save. Hell, we're... We're close to getting out of this, I think, anyway. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, you know, the hospital's not that large when you get down to brass tacks, not really. Uh, I don't think any of the levels in Silent Hill 2 are really all that large, now that I think about it. Ah, shit, 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 wrong way. Oh, there it is. Anyway, we gotta, we gotta go through here in a little bit, so we'll just take care of business over that way. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go through here, Maria. Stick close to me. Stick close to Daddy James. We got this. I cleared this area out, but I didn't really bother clearing that other area out, so uh, that was that was my bad, but we'll be okay. with me. Now we've dude, we've got like a couple of we got a couple of different rings. We're gonna have another ring on us very shortly, now that I think about it. Ooh, we're almost done with this. Now for our third and final question. 
south of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called Calcedo. From there to Palevale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road, no more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Three. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody, thanks for tuning in. See you again sometime. Bye-bye. What was that? Well, that was a lot. Well, hurry up there, James. Okay, we're good. Am I good? I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, we're okay. We cleared this hallway out, but she kind of just appeared out of nowhere. That was awesome. Goddamn nurses. Just like in real life, always appearing out of nowhere. Ah, that... That, 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 that announcer on the radio in the elevator kind of sounded like a little bit like Mark Hamill's The Joker. I mean, not... It's kind of, sort of. Sometimes he did. It's freaky, though. Just, I don't know, it was jarring the way they did that in the elevator. It scared the shit out of Maria. There's something that looks like a refrigerator. Will you open it? Uh-huh. Yeah. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <clears throat> What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. Mm, thanks. I got the lead ring. That's the most... He's unusually playful there. It's like he's, you know, loosening up a little bit. There's nothing in the refrigerator anymore. The hideous smell is coming from inside. Ugh. Ugh. I bet she's glad we opened that. Yeah, she's very... She's being very... I don't know, modest? He's being very nice. Right, another one of these damn nurses. Man, they just keep coming, don't they? You know, they they, they want to keep things spiced up for us. They don't want things to get too boring around here, right? Gotta respawn those bad boys now and then. <laughs> Back to the third floor, I believe. Yes, I, I do believe so. We got things to do. Things to do. Oh, brudda. Let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh, man. All's pretty quiet around here, man. This is kind of nice. At least they didn't spawn any surprises on this floor. Oh. You can't use that here. What is this? We're at the door. Look at it. We're right... Yeah. Look right there. There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. That's not messed up at all. That's not weird. I guess, well, I guess someone, some budding artist really had a lot of time on their hands. Good for them. Good for artists to stay busy. I put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Okay, that's one. Okay. And guess what? Might as well use this other one. Is that a skull? Oh, that is a skull. Oh, that is, uh... It's engraved with a disgusting, bloated face. Oh, that's... I've never really looked at that ring before. Yikes. Holy shit, get that out of the... Get that out of our inventory, please. Oh, that's... That's... Yeah. You can have it, lady. I put the lead ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. 
And now it's unlocked. Hello, right, Maria. Well, I feel like I have to say this, Maria. Here, you might want to get out of my way there. I feel like I have to say this. There's a note on the ground. Inside is some kind of hard-to-read writing. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Oh. Uh, ah, uh, the key to, uh, I think that's the key to the historical society. Oh, baby. Well, I want everyone to just take a moment and say goodbye to, uh, Maria. It's nice knowing her. Well, for now. We'll see her again. But she's about to eat a heaping platter of shit. Sorry, Maria. Alright, this is about to get fun. Maria, I really enjoy your company. Hmm. Just wonder if anything happens if I, if I do. Okay, well, now something happens. When we, when we cross that... Yeah, okay, there he is. There's the big guy. There's the star of the show. The man of the hour. Sorry, Maria, I gotta run. A little bit of pressure there. <laughs> I don't have to run fast, I just have to be faster than Maria. James. Seeing her die again in the game. Tell is just crossing the despair for him is overwhelming here. Man doesn't even want to stand up in that elevator. It's too bad, man. Alright, which of these doors which of these doors do we think leads the way we want it to? I think it I think like right over here? No, not that one. Uh this over no, not there. Like this one right here. This one right here is where we want to go. We want to go to the director's room. <sighs> he who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There is a letter and a wrench. Well, there's the letter and the wrench, bud. Alright, James, you know what you gotta do. A long way to run in Silent Hill. This is some quality running stuff. I copied them onto my map. I got the hospital lobby key. Oh, well, look who it is. Dude, look at these blinds. They're... Dude, these blinds are... Dirty, what the hell? Why is this whole place wrapped in plastic, dude? What is this aesthetic? And why is it so grody? Like, everything is just... Even try to keep it in, like, repair. Here, I'm gonna use my lobby key. And then we're gonna use this. Boom. God, I feel so bad for you, James. Maybe I shouldn't, but I kind of do. 
Just the mental anguish he has to undergo is tremendous. Heartbreaking shit. Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again. I couldn't do anything to help. Once again. Laura has run off somewhere. Mary, what? What should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking... I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. <sighs> yeah. It's the only thing he has left to hope for. Well, I guess we can see where this is going. Soulmates, I think this is probably going to be a good place to leave off for today on Silent Hill 2. And I hope that you enjoyed the hospital segment of things. And the Maria, well, the first Maria part. Thank you for joining me. Please check me out on TikTok. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out also on YouTube at Soul Heaver Gaming Shorts and Stream VODs, as well as Twitch and Kick. Uh... I would appreciate it if you did. I got lots of stuff going on on all those platforms, and I hope you take a look, guys. Thanks again for joining me, everybody. I'll catch you again soon, and we'll be back very shortly with more of Silent Hill 2. Until next time, be sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing that. And, you know, I'll catch you next time. Have a good day. Until then, bye-bye, everybody.